Hello Cardboarders, welcome back. I finally got to it to sort all my P3K Portal 3 Kingdoms cards and show them off to the public as a whole collection just in time before Christmas where my last order for this year arrives and I hope to have ordered enough to be able to play this set cube with around six people. Now for people who are new to this channel, I do enjoy collecting old vintage cards and building set cubes with them. This gives them, in my eyes, more of a purpose than just like collecting cards and holding them in a binder, but rather gives them another chance to be played and also people who weren't around or didn't get as many cards to play with back then a chance to experience that set or these sets I'm collecting. I'm focusing mainly these days on the Four Horsemen sets, that means Arabian Nights, Antiquities, Legends and the Dark, as well as Portal Three Kingdoms. The Dark is the only set I actually finished and was able to play already with friends and family. Legends will be the next set I'm probably completing but it is already able to be played with eight or less people. Now, the topic of today is Portal Three Kingdoms. We'll look through the cards. We'll also talk about some prices, about the most expensive commons, uncommons and rares, and how you can be able to own such a collection one day. Now, without further ado, let's dig right in and start with the white commons. I think I own actually most of white and black regarding commons. Let's see if the lighting is okay. I think maybe a little higher. Yeah, that should be better. Okay, so I started collecting Portal Three Kingdoms at around January of this year, of 2022. And I did not own a single copy of Portal Three Kingdoms until then. And I set myself a budget, how much money I would like to put into the set. And also with the goal in mind to be able to play the set with around four to six people by the end of the year, meaning December 2022. And as you can see, the collection has grown over the months. My YouTube channel started at around August, so I already did have a bunch of cards. But as I already said, all these cards were only accumulated during this year. That means you would also be able to own such a set of cards if you set yourself the goal. You need to know how much you're earning every month and how much you are able to actually spend and put into cards, while also remembering that you probably also want to buy some booster packs maybe, or even bundles or boxes even, as well as pre-releases or maybe single cards for Commander or whatever format you're into. For me, that is the latter, the Commander, factor, which I also have to take into account, but 250 seemed like a reasonable amount of money to put into the set every month to accumulate a couple of cards. So what you're seeing here should be around two to three thousand euros actually. So just to give you a feeling of how much that is actually, but this is 250 euros we're talking for 12 months now i did also buy a couple more cards this month already they should come in during the next the, the next couple of days and if owning such a set is a goal for you i would encourage you to start with the lower value cards first since these will be easier to be acquired they are plentiful normally and don't co cost you an arm and a leg 
and you will be able to play with your set faster than buying the most expensive card in the set, for example, the Imperial Seal, which goes for around seven to 800 euros these days, depending on condition, maybe even higher. I do like to focus on lightly played, which is the European lightly played, meaning like MP or better condition cards. Since these are in an even more affordable range than buying only near mint, for example. And since I wanna play these cards, that means these will be handled by different people and could get possibly used up. As you can see, for example, here, this card has still some blackening on the edge and I don't mind that, but just means it's an older card, probably some white on the edges, but all in all still playable and gives the card some, some purpose rather than just sitting in a binder or a box. Regarding the set itself, Portal Three Kingdoms, I find it very beautiful in artwork. It's about actual Chinese history, like there are stories written on the on the in the flavor texts, which are actual Chinese stories. I'm not very deep into that, so probably my cousin could tell more about that, or his wife who's actual Chinese and might even know these stories, uh, but I just enjoy the artwork and enjoy the little story snippets down there, knowing that these are actual real stories people tell themselves in China or are able to be read, like maybe the tales of the Brothers Grimm or so. I don't know if they're actual, like, real story, like history, I'm not sure about that. Maybe someone in the comments could let me know. Um, but that's that's as much as I know about the story of the set. Oh, wait, three visits. By the way, I sorted the set by common, uncommon, and rare, and maybe not many people know about that, but three visits is actual, a, actually a common in the set, and I think the most expensive common should be around 30 to 40 euros. I can look it up in a sec and tell you. But yeah, I do need four to five of each common to be able to play the set with eight people in the end. I also need two of each uncommon and one of each rare, which is kind of nice since there are many legends in the set and having them being unique is kind of a nice flavor with the knowledge that this is a kind of history or story set. So yeah, I just looked up. Three Visits is the most expensive one, followed by the Zodiac Rooster, which we had somewhere here, right? And the next one should be the Forest Bear and the Zodiac Rat. So yeah, there are many expensive commons in here, but as I already said, I would advise you to Start with the cheaper ones and get into the three visits Zodiac Rooster kind of cards a little later. But it is kind of interesting to know that there are actual, but it is quite interesting to realize that the top five most expensive commons in the set are four green cards. So three visits Zodiac Rooster, Forest Spear, and the Zodiac Rabbit, where I also think I have one or two, so these, yeah. I also did some calculations how much I need of each color. Um, as you can see, I do not own any red rares. I did order a couple now for this month. And as you might can tell by the height of the piles, I own a little less red cards than, for example, and green cards, then for example, the white and the black cards, followed by the blue ones. I will put up some numbers of how many I have and some calculations um, towards the end of the video so that you can see how I'm working towards the goal of accumulating enough cards of each color to be able to play that so that you can kind of follow those steps while you're building your own set cube. 
do let me know in the comments if you're actually here to just see some old cards or commander cards or just booster openings and if you are here to collect some set cubes yourself that would be quite interesting for me now let's go into the uncommons um, fun fact about portal three kingdoms uncommons is that most of them are quite expensive so they most of them go from like 10 bucks or higher um, imperial recruiter which i don't own yet but will be one of the later ones i'm getting is one of the most expensive with around i think like a hundred bucks or so 130 is what card market says okay so this one will be one of the la later ones i'm getting so yeah i i really find interesting about the set the artwork on the one hand but also that there are no instants maybe you already realized that or already know that but there are only sorcery in this sorceries in this set, no instance. But the text tells you that it can be played at instant speed. So I think the story here was that the wizards tried to make the game easier in one way, and also have like less types of card, like sorcery or instant. Back then they had also interrupts and stuff. And maybe explain that you can use it at instant speed in the text. And Portal 3 Kingdoms, um, as far as I know, was invented to appeal to the Asian side of possible trading card players, and they wanted to make the game a little easier, and the whole Portal, Portal Second Age, and Portal 3 Kingdoms was a set to learn the game. This is why there are only sorceries and, now, and no instants. And for example, the Peach Garden Oath is a normal sorcery because it doesn't allow you to use it at instant speed, otherwise it would tell you in the text. And another fun fact about the set is horsemanship, which is actually flying. So there are no flying creatures, no birds or anything, so there is no flying, but instead there's horsemanship, and horsemanship creatures can only be blocked by other creatures that have horsemanship. And that is like the definition of flying. Flyers can only be blocked by creatures that are also flying. Of course, later there was reach, so there is no horsemanship reach. Um, but yeah, this was another change they did in the set, which is an interesting fun fact, I think. And I think there was a blue card in the set that gave all your creatures horse horsemanship, but I'm not sure. Maybe I have it, maybe I don't, maybe I'm confusing something, but I think there was. And this is a card that is used in Commander a lot. So the blue uncommons. This one is also a nice Commander card. Sadly, it's not instant speed, but still quite playable in my eyes, especially for like budget decks. Not this version, obviously, but there was a reprinted version in Commander, and I think it already had different or more printings. Let's stick into the black pile. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, there are different like clans, I'd say. Every color has like a clan that they also represent, and there are different rarities of each of these clans. As you can see, there's a Wei Knight Raiders and Zhang He, Wei General, and there are also like other Wei Infantry, for example. So that is really interesting. And I think the red ones have the yellow scarves, and this one has the Wu Light Cavalry, so the Wu Clan and the Shu Clan. I don't remember what the green was. Was that the Meng Ho Clan? Yeah. Meng Ho. Who's Meng Hu's Horde. Yeah. So there's that. Another little tidbit of information or fun fact about this set. Other than that, Imperial Seal is the most expensive rare, which was reprinted. So there are no reserved list card in, cards in this set, but the set was so rare and even rarer in English. It was 
mostly printed in the Asian languages, I think Japanese and Chinese. I think also it, it was traditional and simplified Chinese, something like that. These three languages and English, and the English cards were quite rare, which is why I think these Portal 3 Kingdoms cards are actually quite investable, since a reprint will probably give them a black border, as you already Sorry for bumping. As you already noticed, the set has only white border cards. It has a retro frame on these cards. So different reasons why I think this set is investable. And many of the rare cards co cost already hundreds of euros. And I don't think that will change even if they reprint cards. I think like this guy got already reprinted and he costs like a fraction without the white border Portal 3 Kingdoms frame. And this guy should, I don't know. Let's look up the price. Yeah, this guy's like 30 euros and in the commander set it's like a couple of cents. So the reprints don't really affect the price of these cards. And the reprint of Imperial Seal did not really affect the price of the original Imperial Seal from Portal Three Kingdoms. I'm still hoping for them to drop a little more to get one, but at some point I will have to just get one. So I think before the reprint it was like around 1k for, a, for an Imperial Seal and now it's like 700. So it went down like 30% and I think it only went down 30% because some people just wanted to cash in before it like really drops, but apparently it doesn't really drop since there's just not that much on the market. And many people just keep these cards or they just don't exist anymore or weren't even produced that many. Now, before we go into the rares, let's talk lands. I also have a bunch of lands. I still need 60 of each type. So I think there are like four different artworks. Let's check. So that's one. No, that's already three artworks. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, so that should be three different artworks. Let's let's just check the others and see. Yeah, I just checked. So there should be three different artworks of each type, and my my plan is to have twenty of each. The most expensive ones are the mountains, which have such vibrant colors, like this green blue mountain and one of the artworks i will put it up on screen costs like more than 10 euros each um, so this will also be one of the last thing things i'm acquiring since i have enough lands to play the set by itself i will just use fourth edition revised or unlimited and as some of you already know i am accumulating more and more unlimited cards for my other vintage set cubes. So one step at a time and I'm just not going all in to get them all now since I can just buy them from from time to time whenever I find some. So now let's go into the rares. Lastly, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Um, if you did, consider just leaving it a like, which is one of the easiest ways to support the channel. This card has some damage here. It was quite cheap, therefore I don't mind. And if you don't know that it is damaged, it could just look like a cloud. So this card I will at some point switch out for a better version. But since it was so cheap, I did not mind really. As you can see, many of them have horsemanship. So these two already have horsemanship. This guy doesn't. And this gives them quite some nice evasion. The blue ones I think I have most of rares. Oh yeah, an extra turn. I think this one is around 200 euros. So there's that. And it had a reprint if I'm not mistaken. But the original will always be more expensive. I think there is an, an actual story about the Lady Sun in the 
Chinese story. Yeah, that was the guy I was talking about, Sun Quan, who gives all your creatures flying horsemanship. So he's a nice guy to use in Commander, since people will not be able to deal with that. They don't play horsemanship and all your creatures become unlockable actually. Right, so let's look at these. This is a, an interesting board wipe. It might remind you of Decree of Silence without the cycling part. Ambition's cost, I think, became an uncommon now. So this is this was a rare back then. Yeah, and those artworks beautiful. I'm really looking forward to playing this with my family and friends. Such a such a nice set. So as I already stated, I do not own any red rares, but they are in the mail and should arrive hopefully before Christmas. But I am positive that it will. Right. So, now lastly I wanted to show you a couple of numbers. They should appear on the screen now. And my plan, how I went on ordering the last cards. Since I want to play this with six players and each booster pack has like eight cards. Um, actually the booster packs came, came with ten cards and they contained eight cards and two basic lands. But I cut it down to eight since we will not draft the lands and the lands will be free to pick in the end when you want to build your deck, so they are not the draftable cards. And I broke it down to eight cards, meaning five commons, two uncommons and one rare. Kind of similar to the dark, where we had six commons and two rares or uncommons. So to be able to play it with six players and everyone would have like five booster packs so that you have like 40 cards. I would need 150 of commons and I should have around 174 so I have enough commons and only the green and the red are a little low but I think it's still fine when you mix them up you won't notice that probably for the uncommons I need around 60 right now as of the filming of this video I have around 57, so I still need 3, and I think I focus on ordering some of the red ones, since I only have like 7, so that the distribution of the colors is a little neater. And lastly, the rares. I need around 30, and I only have 23, so I do need to focus on the red rares to get like at least 4 or 5, and then maybe some white rare or so to get it up to 30 rares. And obviously if I wanted to finish the set and be able to play it with eight players, I would obviously need even more cards, more commons, more uncommons and rares. But that's not the focus for this year, but rather six players. And then in the upcoming year of 2023, I will continue to accumulate one card after another since we are stepping towards the more expensive category now and to be able to play it then with seven or eight players. Now you should be seeing an upcoming video of Portal 3 Kingdoms Mail Time, aka Cardboard Hall, on the channel in the upcoming days where I open up all the cards I ordered and then we can see if I actually accumulated enough of each rarity. Now I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into the past of magic history. Depending on when you're seeing this video, I am wishing you wonderful holidays and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.